Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's good to see you. As you can see, we got a little bit of change of scenery today. I'm up in my living room doing a couple lessons. So we've got a, one of my wife's chickens in the basement recovering. She's a sick chicken. So we're getting her back to health. Uh, it's part of what we do here too. We have a little homestead. We have meat chickens, laying chickens, garden stuff. So that's what we do in our spare time. So that's why I'm upstairs today. So we're avoiding the chicken, letting her rest. Uh, today we're going to teach you how to play uh, Jumper, Third Eye Blind. Pretty easy song. I'll show you a little breakdown in the solo as well. So uh, let's start off with um, the intro. The intro is actually the chorus. It starts off with the chorus. So it's the main part of the song. You got an F major 7 to a C to a G. Okay. Uh, F major 7 is like a C chord. You're just moving these two fingers down. So you actually would have on the uh, D string, third fret, ring finger. Uh, G string, so second fret middle finger, and then index finger, first fret of the B. Do that high E open. That's your F major seven as opposed to your F major. Okay, it's got that major seven E in there. Okay, so that's the F major seven. Then you're just doing a C chord, traditional C chord. And a G. And how it sounds, strum is. That's the chorus. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. That's that part. And then uh, the verses would be that he's on the big plane, he's gone to code. And I do not think anyone knows what the hell I'm doing here. We know I'm not a singer, so don't hold it against me. Uh, a minor, C, G. Does that twice. that last time. Everyone I know has got a reason Baby to say You can put the past away and what that is is A minor. Everyone I know A minor. D sus2. It's a D but you take your little finger off the high E. So, Everyone I know has got a reason to the D. Baby to say and That C just hit it. That's it. Put the past away, and then to the chorus. Wish you would step back from my legs, my friend. All right, uh, and that's the whole song. Those are all the parts. There is a breakdown, which I'll show you. Um, and then when it comes out of the breakdown, there is a, you take your C chord and you slide up to this. You just slide everything up here. It's a form of a D with a fourth in there. Like a, I don't know what they call it. It's a D chord. And then you'd be throwing that G in there. So it'd be D, add 11. But you got the major 7th in there as well. So it'd, yeah, it would be like D major 7 plus 11. Anyways, we don't need to get into theory, but it's a C chord. Slid up, so. And then down to that C. Okay. That's when you come out of the solo. Um, the breakdown, that do 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 uh, it's done on a bass, but if you're a guitarist and you have like two guitars and you want one to do one part and the other do the solo, this is what it is. Uh, you're gonna take first fret, low E, and then third fret of the D, and then third fret of the A. Alright. The second part is five of the D, five of the A, and three of the G. So if you put it together. his hand. Keep a palm muted to get that nice uh, muted bass on. Alright. And the solo, I'm going to go the B string up to the 13. That's going to be 13, 12, 13. And then 13, 12, 13, 15. So. Then you go laying on the 12th fret of the G. And the next part would be 13, 12, 13 on high E. And then 13, 12. 
and then you gotta go 12, 13. And you're gonna slide up to the 15 and back to the 12, 13. And it starts over. So you got B string, 13, 12, 13, up to that 15, and then you're going to land on that uh, G note, the uh, 12th of the G, and then high E, 13, 12, and that's it. You're going to slide from that 13 on the B string up to the 15 back down. that is is 13 12 and on the high E and then 12 on the B and you're gonna slide 13 15 13 and start over okay and that's the solo and then after that it is that you can put the past away Back to the chorus, the F G. All right, and those are the parts of the song. Like I said, as you guys know, I like to show you the different parts and then you just plug them in. Because if you're in a band and you want to extend it out, you know the pieces you can always add a second, you know, um, progression in, extend it out. I don't like to typically teach from the first chord all the way to the last, right in order. It's this many times, it's this many times. I like to show you the pieces and then you plug them in. It's a much quicker, faster way to learn. And you start learning a lot of songs are built the same way. All right, so that's Jumper, uh, F major 7, C, G, A minor, C, G, and then an A minor, D sus 2, to a C, and then your chorus again. So, and then that weird, that D chord that's like a D major 7 at 11, down to the C. Uh, and then your breakdown. on this one for a while but that's jumper by third eye blind and uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time